All right, people. Check out this really nice uh, 67 Ford owner's manual. Damn, things survive pretty nice, man. It's gonna get dirty as gonna get because I'm holding on to it with my dirty hands. Wish the car would have survived as nice, though. <laughs> Got ourselves a 67, man. 67. Ford Galaxy 500. Don't know what happened to the the bumper. Those bezels look nice though. Yeah, yes, they do. Hood looks pretty straight. Windshield's busted. It's been off the road since the well, last register, uh, 2012, man. Yes, 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 I know, I know. It's Mordor. Just a parts car. Oh, man. That's 2011, but the sticker is, uh, it was in the car. That one there. The actual mirror is inside the car. That one. Doors look pretty straight. The roof looks like it's pretty straight. No hail damage. It's like they lost the uh, the original glass. Who knows when? And they decided to go plexiglass style. I'm willing to bet that that dent right here was caused in the yard, man. So, so look at. No dents, really, nothing major on this side other than that right there. And I'm willing to bet the yard did that. Deck lid looks pretty straight. Yeah. That bumper, uh, you know, it's at least driver quality. Don't see anything major wrong with it. This trim panel is, you know, driver quality, I guess. The, uh, the tail lit the lenses, tail light lenses, they, they got cracks in them, but the, the bezels look okay. Yeah, but that dent back there is also probably caused by the yard. I don't know. You probably pop that out though. It's not very it's not very sharp. Other than that, it's pretty straight on this side. The main thing that sucked about this car, at least you know, from the outside, is <laughs> they sanded it down and <laughs> they, uh, until they had like a, oh, well, they had something covering over it right there. But, um, yeah, you see, kind of like spray, tried to spray paint it with something. I don't know, it started running. I think it was, was it blue underneath? I'll have to look. The trim looks good on the wind, on the, on the windshield. Stainless. That I, I haven't looked underneath. I think she's probably rusted underneath, though. Oh, I, I busted that too. I can't get in the trunk because uh, the only key that was there was for the ignition. So I didn't really want to damage it, you know. Because if I if I start trying to tear that up, I'm gonna mess up this uh <laughs> this trim that, that trim panel there but uh let me let me set this uh i'm gonna set the, the steel down right here i'm gonna turn the light on maybe you guys can uh, take a look inside see if you see anything i think i saw the uh i think i see a speaker there and i think i see some uh the hubcaps what else is right there in that corner something that says Miguel Guerra I think I'm not sure what that is or who that is turn that light back off inside the car man oh this shit open from this side oh yeah that's pretty cool the way these do that 
comes down like that. You know, kind of get out of your way. Walking boot. But yeah, bunch of crap. You know. There's the compressor, AC compressor for it. Just a bunch of odds and ends to it. Let's see, let me go this way. Door panel. Eh. Yeah, I mean, she's seen better days than the interior. It's pretty rough on the inside. I like the steering wheel on it. She's all cracked too, though. It's your radio, AM. It's a factory AC car. Get your clock. Mileage there. Yeah. Not rusty there. Not so much here though. I'll go around the other way. How the uh, I tell you the um Sun visors aren't, aren't in rough shape. Actually, like I said, man, this door. Oh, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid door. Yeah. Just let me just go and look down here real quick while I'm here. Oh, man, it's really kind of hard to tell because you know as you can see they uh we got no drivetrain no at least no no engine transmission uh, it's just rusted back there I can see that but all that mud we're in still there though <sighs> so they had a deal here to lock it up but, oh, for the limp man limpy limpy 187 man see lucky day man check it out that we got some for him all right we went all the way to freaking Elmont it was a 65 galaxy four-door there you know and that's what had the engine in it. and we still man we got those uh we ended up getting the these uh, frame mounts out of it and uh, he says he lost it he just grew legs and walked away yeah well they're not cheap man on eBay you know at least over 100 bucks it's a drum brake car but um, he uh, um, yeah, and it's it's 65 to I think 68 or 69. I, I'm not 100% sure, but ashtray there. Ugh. But yeah, like I said it's a bunch of crap. Look at these doors. I better these doors look like they're in good shape as far as like. Not being all rusted out. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see back here. I'd say she's, she's kind of solid back here as well. Let me see if I can get down here real quick. Ugh. Maybe, possibly. Hard to tell all that mud underneath, but <sighs> well, all right, man. 
that's, that's gonna do like I was saying the he has to have those mounts because they, they're, they're only for your full size uh full size forge from 65 to I think 68 if I'm not mistaken so you know I'm gonna get them man all right man on to the next one